Next, we are going to review the Blockstream Green Bitcoin wallet. Um, this will be my first time trying out this wallet as well. I have tried several wallets, but not this one yet. But it is on the Bitcoin.org recommended wallet page. So as you can see here, it gets pretty good, a pretty good overall review. The only issue is caution. This wallet relies on centralized service by default, and it does require a little trust for those centralized servers. But other than that, it's still a full self-custody wallet. And as you can see at the Blockstream website, you would just click download and install the wallet as normal according to your operating system. And once installed, open it. And here's what the screen will look like. You have a couple options here to create a new wallet or restore your wallet. For the first time, we are going to create a new wallet, Bitcoin wallet. And with that, we're going to create a single SIG wallet and agree to the terms of service. Continue. Now here's your 12 word recovery seed phrase. You're going to want to make sure you write this down on a piece of paper. You won't want to save it on your computer because with these 12 words, you can restore the wallet and anyone can restore the wallet with these 12 words, being that it is the backup for your wallet. So if anyone else were to gain access to your computer or you had compromised software on your computer that allowed someone to access these 12 words, they would be able to restore your wallet and potentially drain your funds. So uh, pen and paper is always the best for a seed phrase. And you'll want to write that down and store that in a safe somewhere or hide somewhere where only you will have access to it. But also, you're going to want to make sure you don't lose these words because should you yourself ever need to restore your wallet, if you lose your device or your computer breaks, you'll want to restore your wallet on a different device. And to do that, you will only need these 12 words to fully restore your wallet. And after your 12 word seed phrase is written down, you'll click continue and it will have you verify that you actually wrote down the words. So for me, the third word was level. The fourth word was exhibit. The fifth word, or the tenth word, was tiny. And the twelfth word was round. And now you can select the pen so that nobody can access your wallet from your computer without your permission. And here we go. Now we're in the wallet. Um, looks like it's very simple to use. You have a send and a receive button. If you click receive, you get a Bitcoin address that funds can be sent to from a third party. And click send button and you can send. Although we have no coins to send, so it tells us we need to receive some first. No worries. And here's our Bitcoin address. I assume once you use one, another one will populate here. And this would be all of your coins or yeah, your coin control area, basically where you can see all of the details and transactions will be shown here. It's fairly simple. And then it looks like, yes, you can change between a SIGWIT Bitcoin address and a legacy Bitcoin address right here. That's pretty cool. The wallet will manage both of those for you. And there's a search feature here. I assume you'd be able to search by address or amounts. Yeah. Let's actually go here and see if we can. Yes. 
You can search by address. That's pretty cool. And then you can also access Bitcoin Liquid here. I have not experimented with Liquid yet. We could create a wallet, and I'm sure it would be exactly the same as creating the regular Bitcoin wallet. And let's see what other options there are here. You can connect the Ledger Nano or Blockstream Jade, which are hardware wallet devices. And that really looks like about it for the main features of the wallet. You can connect through Tor. That's pretty useful through a proxy. And yeah, it's a very basic wallet with a clean layout. Looks easy to use. And I hope this review helps. Helps you decide which wallet you choose for your liking. So far, well, my favorite has been Electrum. That's the wallet I started with and have used consistently as my main wallet. But yeah, any of these wallets by Bitcoin.org, I'm sure, are highly recommended. And thank you for watching the review.